Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our second edition of the Phuket Sandbox Update. Once again, we have Matthew Barclay, Australia's Consul General in Phuket, joining us. Uh, he'll open up proceedings. And following that, Anthony Lark, the president of the Phuket Hotel Association, will provide an update. Very much a different situation here in Phuket compared to the rest of the country and a big reason for that has been the government's focus on vaccinating the island and that was a precursor for the island reopening there was some changing of the criteria there that would say that uh, only one dose of astrazeneca was enough um, for them to be covered to reopen the island on the first of july um, people need to be fully vaccinated 14 days before they travel to phuket they need to receive a thai fda approved or a World Health Organization recognized vaccine. Interestingly, what's not included at the moment is the Sputnik V jab. So that does actually restrict a large number of Russian tourists who would normally be coming to, to Phuket uh, from currently coming. I remain positive. You know, I have to be positive. Our hotels have, are seeing occupancies moving from sub 10% to 20 to 30 to 40% occupancies in the last um, three weeks. So COVID cases that have been found within the 8,800 arrivals, this represents less than 1% of the arrivals. They were all found within the system. And therefore those people weren't able to spread uh, the virus throughout the community. I think our biggest concern here as hoteliers is the, is the control of movement between Bangkok and Phuket. Sandbox system is the only way that this island can uh, survive the next year. It has to work. And I think, I think everyone's doing their part. Thank you.